from the saw. They cleaned up quite nicely. Let's see here. I've got about a quarter of an inch in. I left my, all right. And uh, I'm gonna grab one of the ones I'm not using, just as a, there we go. And that'll go in nicely in the, the wire, the string, <laughs> will wrap around that quite nicely. And I've got space here to put some sort of nut so that this will act as a zero fret. I'm back from sanding this down. I really, it's, it's feeling a lot softer now. And uh, I still have some areas that, there's a little spot for a splinter right there. Um, this, but this is just kind of a rough sanding. Give me an idea where things go. Um, so, I'm going to reinstall the hardware. It's starting to look more and more like a little guitar. Well, for another project that never actually got done, um, I have some 5 8 inch number four uh, wood screws. Yep, okay, so five eighths of an inch will be small enough to not go through. Now, when you do this, be aware, again, you don't wanna go all the way through. So, get an eyeball for what the distance is that you wanna put your drill bit in. That gives me a little tap point. If you think, oh, have I gone too far? Just measure where your dust is. <laughs> Hold still. <sighs> All right. <sighs> really close to center. Pretty close to center. Put that back in. And now. The reason I did this one first is it'll act as a good little pivot if I'm off center. There we go. Inside. There we go. That feels pretty flat right there. All right. Some people might choose to glue this, but since this is my first kind of beta beta one, I want to be able to take it apart and put it together as needed. There we go. Okay, so I came up with this idea from another project I saw online. I'm gonna put holes in the back, and then I'm gonna use cotter pins to slide in and the end of the string is going to loop through the cotter pin. Now in this case, I want the hole to go all the way in because I want the cotter pin to sit all the way in. And, and uh, so we're going to do my best to drill a hole that's straight. So the cotter pin can fit in straight. <sighs> oh, 
There we go. Ha ha. Nice. I have three strings left over from another project. And so I'm going to make it possible for these to be my strings. The idea that I'm going to do is have this tuned to an open tuning. I have a braided one. I'm going to make that my lower string. I have a thick. These are from a Diodario 12 string set. So they're not going to be their set, but uh, brass, uh, red, and purple. And so I'm going to go low, middle, and high string. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Got two really small pairs of pliers right here because the idea is that much like a mandolin or a banjo, the loop that is wrapped around that little ball, well, that loop needs to go through, needs to be penetrated by this cotter pin. I can't get it through the ball. Um, I do have some cotter pins that are small enough to go through the ball, but I was worried that they would also be too thin of a metal and bend when I try to uh, put this up to tension. So, I'm hoping that with two pliers, I can take off really long needle nose pliers. I can take off this, this ball here without damaging the end of the string. There we go. Now the ball is out. Oops. And Yes, that should go like this, come over the back of the Altoids tin, go over a bridge of some sort, all the way down and wrap around the tuning post. Nice. That's one. Oh no, that broke the string. So, so now we make a loop and hopefully it'll hold. I'll probably invest in mandolin strings in the future. But for right now, make our own twisted knot end. Had to do this for a violin I was working on. The end broke. Hmm. Through an okay. I have it temporarily tuned up to a G, G, D, and a G. Um, I've put an actual bolt right there because uh, of the need for placing the string. And um, got to come up with an idea for a sound hole, which probably will just be a hole there and a hole there. It can be done. Um, currently, it's set up more like a Dobro, very, very high action. Um, and, uh, if we wanted to set it up with frets, I would need a much smaller bridge and I would need 
a much smaller nut. Um, but right now those are pretty close to even. I guess if I was gonna, let's see something. Maybe if I put in a little hex key, that made it much lower. A little bit of a buzz. <laughs> you can well that's the fun I had today hope you enjoyed watching this I'm sure I'm going to continue to tinker on this a little bit but uh, it's about all the time I have today to have fun with this and just wanted to to try something new 